common assumption about the new wave of EVATOL aircraft is that they will only be capable of taking passengers on short hops within cities. Not so. Increasingly, some of the more advanced designs are showing the potential for longer flights that could connect communities across much bigger transportation networks. That's what Lilium has in mind for the aircraft it now aims to bring to market in 2025. The company talks in terms of regional air services, rather than just urban air mobility, and it's actively developing plans to launch operations in places such as Florida and Germany, where it's based. If you look at the world, you will find congestion, you will find sometimes terrain in a way, water, and a lot of people are going to be benefiting from a new way of uh, moving from A to B. Especially Lilium has decided to be positioned on the regional air mobility market, which is slightly different from urban, meaning that you're not going to be staying in the same city, you're going to go intra-city. And that's really exciting because a lot of places in the world are not always properly served by train or other type of good transportation or sustainable transportation. And our aircraft is not only a perfect way of going from A to B, but it's obviously sustainable and it's vertical. So in part, the Lilium business model will be like a new type of scheduled regional airline service. But at the same time, the company can also see potential for more flexible, on-demand flights for which higher fares could be charged. It will be scheduled. We believe that it will help in the utilization of the aircraft and therefore in the ticket price. So we want to do scheduled operation as much as possible. However, we also believe, and again we're here at eBay, that there is an on-demand uh, market as well. And that's why we have a partner called NetJets, which everyone knows because they are the largest operator of fractional jets in the world. Um, we're working with them to really define that on-demand business and we believe that it will be complementary to scheduled services. It will be not the same type of customers flying in a scheduled operation in an on-demand, which can really serve either the last and uh, first mile and last mile of a journey, of a longer journey, or do a point-to-point -to, -point to one of the destinations that the premium a uh, high net worth individual would want to go to. We strongly believe that business aviation is a very strong adopter of new technology. And when people are going to see our aircraft flying, people around in some iconic location, we believe they will eventually believe it, right? Because seeing it is believing it in general. And people also are used to the helicopter business which is probably a bit scary for many people. This is a jet, this is an electric jet. It would be certified 10 to the minus nine in regards to safety levels. And we believe that once it's established in some location in the world, the public market will adopt it. And it's a lot less noise, it's much more sustainable. So it goes along with the trend today to respect our planet. The promised extra range is a function of the design of the Lilium jet, which the company says makes it closer in performance to a more conventional fixed-wing aircraft. The company is not alone among evil tour pioneers pushing for more range, but there is some secret sauce in its concept, and not least in the eye-catching ducted fan motors. Lilium is already making plans for a larger version of the electric aircraft that could carry around twice as many as the seven-passenger model now in the works. It's the finesse of the aircraft, it's the way that the wing is being developed. It has to do with lift to drag ratio, right? If you can get the maximum lift for the minimum drag, obviously you increase the, the performance of the aircraft. Our jet is going to be not utilizing much power during cruise thanks to that design, and therefore we can go much longer. The hover time is limited to 45 seconds to a minute, and therefore once you've transitioned, you can actually go much farther if you have a proper jet and wing design and canal design you can see behind me. We have 30 jet fans, and the way it works, if you look at the design of our jet, it's a fan system with a rotor, and it's all ducted, so it's really slick and helps in the aerodynamic of the aircraft. Lilium first needs to stay on track with efforts to certify the aircraft in Europe and the US but it is also preparing for the operational phase of its business plan. And that will involve more than one approach, it says. We actually have two business models. On one end, we strongly believe that having our own network, where Lilium is going to sell its own tickets, will be quite advantageous. And we're going to be having those networks in, like in Florida or in Germany. So some of those places in the world will be served by Lilium directly. In other places, we believe it's better to have a strong partner to operate those aircraft on our behalf, or actually, they will actually commercialize those tickets. That's, for instance, in Brazil, we have a partner called Azul. It's a major airline of Brazil. They serve 150 destinations in Brazil. If you look at the helicopter 
business. Just in Sao Paulo, there is 750 flights a day going into the city with helicopters. You can replace that traffic with our jet and be able to commute from Sao Paulo to regional cities around it. So we have those two models, but there are many other ways we'll look at different type of commercialization. Well, Future Flight is tracking all these new Evitol aircraft as they scramble to get to the starting line for the promised air transportation revolution. Stick with us for news from this dynamic sector of aviation and enjoy our exclusive database of programs. You can sign up for a free weekly newsletter as well. Thank you for watching.